How's it going, everybody? This is Studio Link VST, and we got a tip for all of our FL Studio users. FL Studio seems to be the doll of choice for majority of our customers, so we wanted to go ahead and shoot this video for you guys. Um, if you guys are using FL Studio and you're experiencing any kind of crackling, hissing when you're loading up plugins and you're trying to hold down sounds, go ahead and do this simple little trick, okay? Um, this could be in your contacts. Sometimes it does it with wave, waves, uh, plugins. Let's go ahead and just, just watch this for a second, guys. Up here in your top left-hand corner, you'll see a little arrow that points down in this little tool. Um, box right here to the right of it let's click on that toolbox and then go ahead and choose processing now what we need to do is adjust your fixed size buffers so let's go ahead and enable it that's all you need to do it's that simple now you can go in your contact a lot of people shy away from contact because of that reason and we'll go ahead and click on it and make sure that our use fixed size buffers are enabled um, this is for any kind of crackling that you're getting on your plugins when you're loading them up. If it's the chord machine, if it's uh, Trap Boom, if it's Platinum Hit Workstation, Maybach Empire Workstation, Waves products, any products on the internet, this is going to fix your solution. So definitely try that out. If you guys have any kind of questions or you guys need any assistance, you need help, go ahead, come back to this video and drop a comment. Please go ahead, subscribe. Let us know uh, if that fixed your solution, if that fixed your situation, if that was a good solution for you. Uh, definitely let us know. Thank you so much. This is Studio Link VST. Keep making them beats. Okay, so now we're on our Mac. We have Logic Pro loaded up for all of our Logic Pro users. And we're going to go ahead and show you if you're experiencing any kind of crackling or popping sounds in your instruments, how to quickly remove that. Uh, it's really easy to go ahead and tweak some settings and you'll be fixed. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to do that now. Um, what we're going to do in Logic Pro is go up to the top where it says Logic Pro, choose your preferences, and we're going to choose audio. So as soon as we choose audio, we're going to go ahead now, let's see in here, we got audio selected, Let's choose general and down here, these two sections right here under plug-in delay, we want to choose audio and software instrument tracks and then also click on this low latency mode. If you guys go ahead and do that, you should be all good to go. You should have no crackling, no popping sounds in any of your instruments. Hopefully these tips helped you on Windows and Mac. Thank you so much for supporting Studio Link VST. Bye-bye.